Oh dear. What's the matter? I'm getting dizzy. Don't worry. You're surrounded by your semen. I can't do this. I'm going to faint. Right here, drink this. It'll relax you. Alcohol? I don't drink alcohol. Fine, faint. I don't feel different. This alcohol's defective. Here, see if this one works. First of all, the projects were totally different. I was showing that classical music nurtures lima beans and makes them grow, but my mother didn't hear me. If you'd like to look at the relationship between nurturing and growth, I'd like to point out that my brother is eight inches taller than me. I'm ready. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest of honor, Dr. Sheldon Cooper. Thanks, Jordy. I'll take it from here. All right. You people ready to have some fun? You have a basic understanding of differential calculus and at least one year of algebraic topology? Well, here come the jokes. Why did the chicken cross the Mobius Strip? To get to the same side. Bazinga! Right, Neutron walks into a bar and asks, how much for a drink? The bartender says, for you, no charge. Hello. I know you're out there. I can hear you metabolizing oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide. <laughs> it looks like we have some academic dignitaries in the audience. Uh, Dr. Randall from the geology department, only man who's happy when they take his work for granted. But a show. <laughs> I've kid the geologists, of course, but it's only because I have no respect for the field. <laughs> Let's get serious for a moment. Why are we all here? Because we're scientists. And what do scientists study? The universe. And what's the universe made of? I am so glad you asked. There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and rhenium, and nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium. Everybody! And iron, americium, ruthenium, uranium, uranium. Zirconium, lutetium, vanadium, just the Asians, and lanthanum, and osmium, and astatine, and radium. <laughs> Penny, Leonard. Would you be able to answer some questions I'm having about the events of last night? Sure. Question one. Where are my pants? You might want to check YouTube. What do I search? It's already loaded. Just hit play. All right, people, let's get down to the math. It is only three-dimensional thinking that limits our imagination. Can I take my pants off over my head? Of course not. My body's in the way. But if we had access to higher dimensions, we could move our pants around our bodies through the fourth dimension. <laughs> and our days of dropping trousers would be over. <laughs> This couldn't be any more humiliating. Uh, give it a minute. Now for the astronomers in the audience, get ready to see the dark side of the moon. 